Hi everyone, welcome to STEAM Mondays. My name is Ms. April and I'm from the Schenectady County Public Library. So today is actually the first STEAM Mondays of 2021. We are actually going to be posting a new STEAM Mondays activity every Monday at 4 p.m. all the way through the end of May. So make sure you check back with us each week to see what cool project we have for you to do with us. So if you don't know what STEAM stands for, it stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So today we are going to be focusing on the A in STEAM, and I have a really cool art project for us to do. Today's STEAM project is inspired by a wonderful artist. Her name is Faith Ringgold, and not only is she known worldwide internationally for her amazing works of art, she's also a Caldecott Honor Children's Book Illustrator and the recipient of the Coretta Scott King Award for Children's Literature. So today I'm going to read you this wonderful book called Cassie's Word Quilt. It's beautifully written and illustrated by Faith Ringgold and it's going to be the inspiration for our work of art that we make today. So here's the story I have for us to read today. It's called Cassie's Word Quilt, and it's written and illustrated by Faith Ringgold, and it's published by Alfred A. Knopf, New York. So here is Cassie. Here's our character, Cassie. And what do you notice about Cassie? What is she able to do? That's right, she can fly. Cassie can fly wherever her heart desires. She can see whatever she'd like and she's free to dream and fly anywhere in the world. Wonderful. On Tar Beach, Cassie dreams she can fly among the stars. So where is Tar Beach? So Tar Beach is actually the rooftop of the apartment building that Cassie lives in, where lots of fun things happen for her. So the character Cassie is actually based on Faith Ringgold when she was a girl. So a lot of the images that we'll see in this book are based on things that she saw in her life growing up in Harlem, New York in the 1930s. So on this page, we see Cassie's word quilt. So what do you notice about her quilts? There's pictures and what, are, what shape do we see here repeated? Yeah, is there squares? So a quilt is um, a bunch of squares that have been sewn together. But in Cassie's case, she's using words and pictures to make her quilt. And in this quilt, Cassie's family has picnics on Tar Beach. So what kinds of things does she see during her picnic? Here's her mother, her father, her brother, the clothesline, the plants, the chair, the food, the table, and the quilt. So now when we turn the page, we are going to see, here's a picture of the picnic that Cassie saw. So we see a lot of the same things. So there's her mother and her father. Can anyone find the chair? Where's the chair? Oh, there's the chair. How about the quilt? Yep, there's the quilt, there's the food, and the table, and the plants, and everything from her quilt. And where's Cassie? Yep, there's Cassie, flying up above with her brother. Cassie lives in a very nice apartment. And Cassie loves all the things in her home. So what kinds of things are in her home? Let's look at her word quilt. There's a teacup and flowers 
a lamp, <gasps> fish. She's got some pet fish, a mirror, and she can do her hair, doggy, sofa, a rug, and a radio. Look at that radio. That looks pretty different from the radios that we have today. If you can even find a radio today, because we don't really listen to them that much anymore. That's an, an old fashioned radio. And here is Cassie's apartment. And you see all the same things. There's the dog. What about the rug? Can you find the rug? Point to the rug. Yep, there's the rug. And what else do you see? Yep, you can point and say out loud some things you see. There's the sofa and the teacup. Oh, and there's her fish. And there's the radio. Cassie has her own bedroom with a closet for her clothes. Cassie's bedroom has many colorful things. What do we see in Cassie's bedroom? Blanket, a bed, a pillow, a book bag, a doll, a dresser, a rocking chair, a closet, and a painting. Pretty cool. So she's using some of the things that she sees in her life to make her story quilts and tell a story. Here's Cassie's bedroom. Can anyone find some of the things we saw on the other page? Can you find her book bag? There's her book bag. And how about her rocking chair? It's her rocking chair. There's her doll, her bed, her pillow, her painting. All the things in her bedroom. Cassie's block has a park where children can play. There's always a lot happening on Cassie's block. What kinds of things does Cassie do on her block? Play basketball, jump rope. Oh, there's a baby on her block. Ices, swing, policemen, groceries, grocery store newspaper boy, and a fruit stand. And here is what Cassie's block looks like. Can you find the policeman? Oh, there's a policeman. How about the newspaper boy? Can you find the newspaper boy? So there's the policeman. There's the newspaper boy. What about the fruit stand? There's the fruit stand. There's the grocery store. <gasps> There's the baby. There's the delicious ices. There's kids playing basketball and jump rope. Looks like fun. Cassie's school is a good place to learn and have fun. Cassie likes her teacher and her classmates. So, what kinds of things does Cassie see at her school? Her classmates, books, a blackboard, a teacher, a clock, a desk, her paints, her pen and ink, and an apple. Maybe for her to eat or maybe for her teacher. And there's Cassie's schoolroom. Can you find some of the things we saw on the other page? Can you find the books? There's the books. How about the apple? Can you find the apple? Yeah, there's the apple. And there's her teacher. What other kinds of things can you see in her schoolroom? Probably looks pretty similar to your schoolroom, huh? Cassie likes to ride the subway and the bus in New York City. But she always loves to come home to Tar Beach. So here's some of the things 
that she sees in her neighborhood in New York City. There's a taxi, a bus, a subway, a street lamp, traffic lights, a car, trees, buildings, a bridge, and there's her neighborhood. What do you see in her neighborhood? Lots of buildings. Oh, and there's the bus. There's the car and the subway and the traffic lights. And that's the end of the story. Thanks for reading that with me, everyone. So in the book we just read, Cassie's Word Quilt, Cassie uses her quilts to tell a story about her life. So what we are going to do today is we are going to make our own quilt square, kind of like the ones we saw in the book. So in the center, we are going to draw a picture about something that we can remember from our own life and we're going to use some decorative paper to make the border of our quilt square. So the supplies you need for this project are some paper. So I have some paper here. It can be any kind of paper you have at home that you want to use, um, any color. You need some scissors, some glue, some stuff to draw with. So I have some crayons and a pencil here. So whatever you have at home. And I actually also have some, so if you have some um, old magazines, we can use that to cut out some scraps of paper for our quilt square border. And if you don't have any old magazines, you can use whatever you can find, um, some old gift wrap or tissue paper or newspaper. Um, and that's about it. So I'm excited, let's get started. So as you can see, I've started making my word quilt here. So I just have my piece of paper and what we are going to want to do is cut some squares out that go all the way around our word quilt, making a border and leaving a blank space inside. So I've got some scraps from my magazines and I've cut out one square so I know about how big I want my squares to be. And now I'm going to use this as a template. So I'm going to trace around this to make some more squares. So I'm going to continue doing that. So I've traced around and now I can cut my square out. And it'll be about the same size as the other square. And so now I've got two squares and I'm gonna continue making some squares for my border. So here you can see I finished making the border for my story quilt. Um, I have a little bit of extra white space on the end here. So I'm just gonna cut that off, make it look a little bit more even. We have a little bit of white space. Now it's time to fill in the center of my quilt square. So I'm going to draw a picture. And so when you draw your picture, you want to think about something from your life, something that happened, something somewhere you went or someone you had fun with, and you can draw your picture about that. I'm gonna get started on my drawing. Here 
is my finished story quilt square. I drew a picture of the ocean because I have so many great memories of visiting the ocean with my family. And when you choose the um, scraps of paper for your border, you can choose also choose um, colors or shapes or pictures that you like. So your story quote will be more unique to who you are and it will tell your story. Thank you so much for joining me today for Steam Mondays. I had a great time doing this project with you. Um, if you are interested in finding out more about the wonderful artist Faith Ringgold, you can click on some of the supplemental links that are in the description of this video. As always, we would love to see what you made. So if you have not done so already, please join our SCPL Youth and Families group on Facebook where you can post pictures of what you made today. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'll see you soon.